Hi y'all, um, this is another update. Uh, excuse me for being in my bathroom, but it's the best lighting slash um, audio. I am currently sick right now, so that's fun. The date today is April, I know, that's shocking, 11th. So it's been, since my accommodation meeting, approximately five weeks. Almost, maybe not approximately like a couple days off, but I'm kind of frustrated because, um, let me try and stand you up. So basically everyone has been getting their roles for like the first arrival dates in May. So like May 8th, May 12th, people have been getting their roles and that would be an issue. Like I don't think, I think it's fine. Listen. I think that's fine. It's just that I put in my accommodation meeting and the woman on my representative told me that I'd be getting a role in like two weeks. So I got pretty excited with this idea that I would know my role ahead of time, be able to mentally prepare myself. And obviously you can see how excited I was in the last video, but this is the only time with the whole process so far that I've been frustrated and I've been told this multiple times when I was asking if I should even look into accommodations, I was told don't expect much because they are not, Disney is not very disability friendly, if that makes sense. Um, they say they're all for the inclusion of disabilities, but they don't really try hard enough and they don't make the effort. So even for someone like me, who my accommodation was very simple. I just, I need access to a bathroom. Like I need constant access and I need a job where I'm not like in charge of somebody's life where I can't leave my post, you know what I mean? And they said that would be completely fine. She even said she would put in my request for like my preferred roles for me and stuff. And uh, after my meeting, I felt great. I was like, maybe I got lucky. Maybe this, they're wrong. And here we are. It's about five weeks after said a meeting and I've also sent like two or three I think three update response emails to the only email I had contact with from the meeting because it was like an online zoom completely like they just sent me a link and then I said I joined the meeting so the one email I had I kept sending things and I haven't gotten any notice back sorry I probably walked by the door um, like I haven't gotten any sort of notice. I haven't gotten any sort of update. I did I do know that she told me that if she has to basically They have to send over to Disney who approves the role then send back to her Then she calls the people to be like hey, can you accommodate this request? And if they say yes, which she said most likely they will they'll tell me what my role is Henceforth that is my role and then if I have any issues with it I can send an appeal and possibly get changed, but I don't really care. Like, right, I just want, I just want to know. Like, I I ideally, like, I want to be children's activities or character attendance so badly, but I know it's not going to happen. Like, I'm just kind of preparing myself to be, like, custodian or uh, quick service food because literally, I that's the only thing I didn't want. Like, the only thing I refuse to have is a quick service food restaurant. Like, I don't want to work with food again. Like, and that's something coming from someone who worked in fast food for a long time. Uh, and dining courts, I'm done. I don't want to work with food. People are awful, awful to customer service people and I've paid my dues and I don't want to do it again. Um, so, I don't know. But if, that, if that's all I get, then I guess I will deal with what's dealt. But anyway, I just wanted to get on here and put a little bit of an update that I'm sure will go in the beginning of the um, role video because this will probably be my role reveal, which is kind of sad because this is just leading up to... Uh, Disappointing most likely role reveal, but um, I'm not gonna shine anything on here I'm not going to pretend that I like it I'm not going to because this is a job and I'm going to be in this place for a long time And I have a right to feel the way I feel so with whatever happens I wanted to show the ups and the downs including Disappointment if that is what happens because some people get disappointed with the roles they get and I've oftentimes just seen people like flourishing and I think that's not always the case I think it's important to show the true side of the Disney College program that maybe people don't show oftentimes or you don't see. So that's one of them is lack of response because they're a big corporation. They don't really care much about you. They have bigger fish to fry. Um, I have sent out another email 
Hopefully I'll get back. If not, I have to get my role at some point. It's just a matter of if my accommodation is going to be approved, but who knows? So yeah, I just, it's been a long time and I guess we'll find out soon. Whew. Hi everybody. Um, this is not as positive as a video as I originally wanted it to be because, I mean, things don't often go as planned. Um, I got my role, so this is my, like, role reveal, but I am not excited about it. I am... I am like, thrilled to go, and I'm actually getting more accustomed to it the more the day goes on. I just found out this morning. Today is May 8th, 2023, and um, I notified in the video you would have seen previous to this that I did not receive any notification from anybody, like, via the DE DCEP team, um for my accommodation yet and I was you know getting nervous and I just was whatever I sent many consecutive emails to their email uh, but I had never received a response um, and I received a response today but turns out um, the case advocate that I was working with emailed me my role assignment in March of 2023 so a couple months ago when she told me it would be done but she emailed it to me via her personal case advocate email and it got hidden in my email. So I still think some of this is on the D DCEP because I emailed them many, many times. And like, I just now got a response to the email I sent just a couple days ago when I'd sent like three or four other ones. Like I tried not to be too repetitive because I didn't want to be like, but like, come on, whatever. So I know you're anxiously waiting. Um, I will be working at QSR in Backlot Express at Hollywood Studios. So Backlot Express is like one of the, one of the, in the old Star Wars area next to Star Tours. Um, it's a restaurant, quick service that you can go in. They have like Sloppy Joe's, uh, well, that's what I call them in the Midwest, but I think they're like pulled pork sandwiches, um, like chicken tenders that are to die for cheeseburgers. I mean, they've got all of your basic stuff. Um, I actually like when I op first opened the email because I was not expecting it this morning and it's been a really rough day since finding that out is, uh, I opened it and I was like reading and backlot express is like, I kid you not, probably the second most place I've ever gone to in Disney, like, because coming from a middle class to low class family, like, when we would go to Disney, like, we couldn't go out to these, like, really, really fancy restaurants. If we did, we went, like, once per trip, um, and the rest of the time was doing these quick service, really cheap, like, alternatives to meals, but we're also very picky like I'm a picky eater so I love Backlot Express like it's actually my favorite restaurant in all of the Disney World so I'm actually not I'm not like really mad about it anymore but I really was disappointed when I found out this morning and I wanted to be completely transparent because sometimes they're not fun sometimes they're not what I've seen on YouTube which is uh happy-go-lucky and excited and everything I think I wish I would have been recorded immediately earlier because I did start like having a panic attack and I started crying because I didn't know what to expect out of the role. I literally, this was the bottom of my totem pole. Like I told them I did not want to work QSR. Like I told them, like they tell you don't say no to anything, but I said no to this specific role. Um, a huge help has been my roommate. Uh, I have a roommate that I'm not going to say her name on here uh, just because I don't want to like put anything on her but she's amazing and I love her and she has been really 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 helpful throughout this process because she her first pick would have been a QSR restaurant she used to work at QSR she's an alumni and so she's been at the program before and I am so indebted to her like she has helped me just like answer all of my questions and like everything I am a little nervous about the hours because Backlot Express is like the busiest um, QSR in that area uh, and one of the busiest in Hollywood Studios. I 
wanted a high paced, high fit fast job. And really, the more I think about it, all jobs that you're going to get there are not going to be happy go lucky all the time. And they're not going to be fun. Like all of at least like, I'm sure I'll have a, some fun at one point or another, but they're not going to be baseline fun because they're, we're basically like, I don't want to use like, the word I'm thinking of, but we're basically like forced workers. Like, um, there's not much about it. Like I, and I'm going into this. So knowing that fact, like, I think you have to go into it knowing that Disney is a business, like they are smart and they know how to incentivize you just enough to keep you to stay. But also like they are working you, like they're going to get their money's worth. So you say, and most of the money that you spend, they do you pay you is going right back into Disney. So it's really a pyramid scheme if you look into it. Um, but it's a pyramid scheme. I'm willing to put myself in just for a couple of months because of the benefits and because I want to meet new friends and live that lifestyle just for a little bit before I jump straight into a career field because that's where I'm headed. I'm only 21. I wanted to experiment with stuff and travel while not having this burden of finances hanging over my head because this is a, it's a paying job. Like, yes, you have to work during it, but you get to have all these fun experiences and go to parks and discounts and this and that while also, um, getting money and not wasting like thousands of pounds, thousands of dollars. So this is going to be a, um, longer video. Um, so yeah, my role is officially quick service restaurant backlot express and hollywood studios i have heard more things that backlot express is like right there when you walk through cast connections or cast services at hollywood studios it's like right there so that's good um i'm also looking at all the positives so i'm, I'm gonna tell you all the negatives and all the positives i thought about this role when i first looked at it so when i first looked at it and first saw that at first i was like okay Okay. And like, did that thing when you try and calm yourself down because I love that area so much because I love Backlot Express. Like I truly do like that, like that space in that area, like is one of my favorite spots in all of Disney world. Like I love where it's placed. I love that like Indiana Jones is right by Star Tours is right next to it. It's, it's quaint, but it's not so quaint. I've, I really like that area. I've eaten, I, I kid you not. That is the restaurant I go to at minimum three to four times during my trip, like every time. So it just was very ironic when I first opened the email. I was like, someone, something, somewhere placed me here. Like, I cannot imagine it any other way. Like, that's so ironic. Because um, if you know me I'm at all, I'm a really picky eater. And I absolutely love their chicken tenders. And that's one of the places that serve the best chicken tenders. So one of the perks is that like, I'm going to be able to order food from Backlog Express during my breaks. And girl, you have no idea how many chicken tenders I'm going to eat. It is going to be disgusting. <laughs> so that is something I'm excited about. So I guess that's a pro, uh, but I was going to go into the cons first. So I immediately looked at it and I thought food, like I just so you know, like, I thought that there was, like, oh, they're gonna look at my resume, they're gonna place me, like, they really don't. Like, they they didn't, if they would have even looked at my resume, they would have not placed me there. I did go through an accommodation, so that did change the process a little bit, but I thought it would help me for the better, and it definitely didn't. Um, I don't think that, I don't know if I would have changed it, I don't know if I would have done accommodation or not otherwise, but my accommodation has been approved, so that's good. And I've been very open on here that I have Crohn's disease. Uh, it's irritable bowel syndrome or disease. Sorry, not syndrome. Syndrome is the other thing. Anyway, that inhibits sometimes like I need to have a use for a restroom very quickly. I need quick access and, uh, access more often than the normal person. Uh, so I put that down as an accommodation and they were able to accommodate that at the specific restaurant. So I was like, okay, whatever. Uh, I don't really get to say, so, like, I can't complain, like, this is kind of where, well, I can, but I can't, like, I'm stuck there no matter what, so, um, <clears throat> I'm trying to look at the positives. It's definitely not the worst place you can be placed, like, I honestly would have been rather here than a custodian job, no offense, I, lots of people like custodian jobs, I just cannot stand cleaning, like, that's just one personal thing of, of mine, so everyone has their roles that they would prefer, like, I mean, my roommate, her top was QSR, and mine was, like, second to the bottom, like, it, it all varies. So I'm excited that I know and that I can start to like plan in my head what it's going to look like, but it's nothing like what I was looking or viewing and picturing in my head before I read that email. Like 
as much as I knew children's activities was not possible because it's so rare, I wanted it so badly that I kept telling myself I was going to get it. And I'd be telling people that that was my dream role when they asked me where I'd be working that now I'm like kind of upset that I have to go tell people that it's not what I got. Um, but that's the reality of it. And you know, it's an internship. It's a, it's a temporary thing. Like this is not something I'm going to be doing the rest of my life. And, um, I've got to get past that. Like it's just a work. It's just a job. Um, I have heard though that the leaders are great at this location and that the people are very, very sweet and very nice. So I'm excited to hopefully get to know some coworkers and like, you know, learn people and become friends and all this stuff. Cause I don't know. I just, I think that'll be fun. Um, I don't know. I, uh, it's bussing tables, doing garbage. Uh, it's like front table uh, or, um, front, what is it called? Oh my gosh, I'm blanking. It's like register and, um, front of house, FOH. There it is. So like, I won't be like cooking or shopping any of the food particularly. I don't think maybe some fries, like frying fries, but I've worked at McDonald's for three and a half years. Like, I know I'm going to rock this job. It's not that that I'm worried about. It's the fact that like, I never wanted to do fast food again. I never wanted to do quick service again. I literally would rather been anywhere, but <laughs> I mean, again, I'm being very vulnerable and some people might come after me because I'm feeling ungrateful, but I'm really not. I, I understand that this is a very tough program to get into. I know that some people don't often get the, the roles they want. I know that not nobody wants to be working in all these locations. Like, uh, like they probably all have a role they prefer. But I don't know. I mean, it, it's just hard. And I'm basically having to kind of put to rest the idea of what I thought my program was going to look like and create a new one. And so I'm in the process of that. But it's only been like 12 hours. So I'm giving myself some grace. Um, sorry, I, I, I ramble on, but, uh, like, I don't know the cons. I hate food. Like I hate working with food. I worked, I cannot kid you not like how many countless hours over the fry that at McDonald's. So I'm just really hoping it's not, let, it's not that, um, I'm hoping that I get, you know, there's more experience there. I was more looking forward to working one-on-one -on -one with guests and I won't be doing that as much as I wanted. Like I wanted to see the kids and everything and I'm not going to be doing that, which is very upsetting to me, but I mean, I'm sure I'll get a couple of magical experiences. Like, I'm not, it's just not exactly what I pictured in my head. And I have to kind of get over that. But some pros that I did find was, I mean, uh, Backlot Express is air conditioned. I mean, yes, I'm going in the fall, so it's not going to be as big of an issue. But it's still going to be hot. It's Florida. And it rains. And, like, I'll be in a building. I'll be in a building with coverage over my head with air conditioning. So, like, perk number one. Um, I... QSRs are very common. Like Q there's a lot of quick service restaurants over all four parks. I love Hollywood. That would have been my number one placement if I got to choose a park. So I'm glad I'm there. Um, and I'm glad that it's very easily accessible. That's another perk. But overall, I wanted to work at a resort more, but I don't know. I've never worked it either. So I just kind of like was going based off the things that I watched and heard. Um, and I didn't watch any QSRs. So I'm going to have to go and find the YouTube videos of, of those specific people because... I'm definitely, uh, have to research this because I didn't think I'd be in a QSR role. Um, what's some other things? Uh, oh, the QSRs are very common throughout all the parks. So they're very easy to find somebody to take a shift or trade most of the time. Like you have a lot of people working at your specific location, whereas some other roles, you only have a couple of people and if they can't work, you're kind of screwed. And, uh, if you know anything, I love cruising and you get really big discounts while you're a cast member and if you go to choose to go on a cruise. So I have this cruise in mind that I would really like to go, go on during my program with my family and some friends. Um, and I would like to keep my, save up my ADOs, which are advanced days off. Um, and also do some trading shifts or giving up shifts for that week so that I can go on that, uh, trip. And I'm going to be very open with my leaders about it and very like, you know, straightforward. Um, I'm really, I just, I don't know. I'm, I want to do it in the most respectable way possible. And I want to do it by the book. I don't want to, you know, skip or call out. Like I want to be able to do that and have a good time that week, like that one week. So I'm going to have to probably work extra the week before and the week after, but QSR is definitely more of a possibility of doing that. Whereas if I was in children's activities or a role that like really is training like specific, I wouldn't be able to probably do that or with as much confidence because of like just the way it works and the, the smaller amount of people in that role. I don't know if that made any sense. 
but that's another perk for me. Um, I, my room, my roommate, uh, she has been giving me all these tips and tricks. She loved QSR and she, you know, I would like to pick up, you can pick up shifts at other, um, areas and other, um, parks. I would like to at least work once in every park. I think that'd be kind of cool to say I've worked in every park. Like that'd be kind of fun. So I'm going to try and do that. Um, I don't know how, but I'm still trying to figure out the like hub system. And I know that I'll get trained on all this. So it's all just like, it's like the beginning of college or the beginning of a semester when you get all your syllabuses, like you're looking at all 16 weeks and you're freaking out because you feel like you have so much to do, even though it's such a long period of time, but it, you're, you're, our brains like coming from a developmental therapist standpoint, like your brains can't comprehend the length of time. All they see is the uh, bullets that need to be done. So if you look at all of these consecutively in like the span of a couple hours, your brain is going to automatically start stressing out and now those hormones are going to release because your brain starts freaking out that, oh, no, 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 I don't want to do four papers. I don't want to blah, blah, blah. Even though those four papers are spread out over 14 weeks. So it's a lot more doable, but your brain doesn't comprehend that. So every time without fail at the beginning of a semester, I'd freak out. Syllabus week was one of the worst weeks for me at, at all times. Like I like the second week of school, like all of it was so much better than the first week because I just freak out. And that's also an ADHD thing. So that's not like specific to one person or all people. But just something to keep in mind. Um, I'm trying to keep breathing and an open mind and just, you know, roll with the punches because, I mean, you can't do anything about it. And also, just I'm doing all my research. I've been talking to people who work there. I've been finding out these things. Um, the accessibility behind it all. Their costumes are, are fairly, you know, normal costumes that I feel like are going to be comfortable. So that's good. And, um, yeah. I think I said air conditioning already, but I'm very excited it's air conditioned. I will say that is one of my big perks on that list. Um, it is high. It's a lot. It's hard work. It's high paced or fast paced. I should say. I cannot speak. Should say. Oh, my goodness. Um, you can tell it is what time it is a freaking, it's only 10 o'clock at night, but listen, okay. I'm tired. It's been a long day. Um, <laughs> But it's fast paced, which I love. I obviously you can tell I speak a mile a minute. I have ADHD. Like I like when things are fast because they keep going and going and going. And then you're not like looking at the clock. Whereas if you're like, I would rather work my tail end off for eight hours than be sitting in a chair for eight hours. Like I over any day of the week like that stresses me out just sitting and bored, not knowing what to do, especially when you can't like get on your phone, or you can't do anything like Oh, it stresses me out to another level. So the fact that I'll be able to work QSR and I'll be able to be like, you know, oh, if I'm not doing trash, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. They'll put me here, they'll put me there, they'll switch me positions and everything. It's a big plus. Uh, specifically, Backloud Express also opens only from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. Uh, and that's only on some days. Sometimes, sometimes it's 11 to 8.30. I mean, it just it d depends. But 11-hour shifts is most likely what I'll be scheduled as. Uh at most, which is from, would be 11 to nine. And I'd be helping close because DCP members help close and the full timers help open. Um, which I'm okay with. Like, I don't really mind helping close. Like, I think that's another experience that's fun. Like, as I don't know, I'm just, I'm cool with it. Um, and that means I can only, I know like what time I'm probably going to be scheduled every week. Uh, I may not know the days, but I'll know like, Oh, okay. 11 AMs are like, are set. Like I'm, that's when I start. Whereas if you're an attractions role that is in Hollywood studios that opens at 7 a.m. for early start and then closes at like 10 or 11, um, I don't know if those are the hours I'm just spouting, but then you could be placed at any shift between 7 a.m. and 11 p.m. on any of any day. So like you never really know. And that's a little bit was concerning for me. So I'm glad that this role does provide a set of specific hours that I might have the option or that that free of mind and to be able to kind of let go. Oh, okay. Like I can plan to not have to work till 11 tomorrow. So I don't have to be like, Oh, sh like I, I did something the night before and now I have to work at 7am. Like this is crazy. You know what I mean? Uh, it just gives me a little bit more confidence, um, in my schedule because overall I'm not going there to work. Like I wouldn't go there. I wouldn't work if I had, like, if I didn't have to, I don't think anybody on the Disney college program, like maybe they would, but I don't think if they got to choose what, like they would, they would work, but 
that's what you're, you're getting all these benefits, but you have to give them something. Like, this isn't, they're not just going to give you free entrance for free. You have to work for them. Like, you have to work for it. You don't get things handed out to you in life, and that's what I've learned. So I'm trying, again, taking this, like, with a grain of salt and going into it, but thinking positively, but also trying to think the worst possible way it could happen. That's me being a pessimist because I'm the glass is half empty type of person. Uh, ever since things have happened in my life that made me think that way. I'm just like, nope, like, let's go into this, like, okay, it's gonna be awful, like, blah, 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 and then anything that's better than that, I'm like, hey, this is pretty good, you know? But I'm also not wanting to freak out for however many months, like, three or four months before I have to leave, so I, I need to just kind of be gracious with myself. I think I've said that a couple of times. And again, this video is just to be there to support people who might not have gotten the role they wanted, and I definitely sobbed like I'm not even gonna lie like I sobbed for like I had to go to the, technically had to go to the doctor appointment today and I left to go to it, it's in Chicago there ain't no way like there's no way I was getting getting there so because uh, I, I had to drive myself and I was like tears on the highway I was like this is not gonna this is not happening and so I was like nope nope I'm done I'm gonna show you my dog that's the one thing I have come on guys come on guys <gasps> it's a my best Oh my goodness. You want to meet everybody? Huh? You want to meet everybody? Oh, oh my dear, it's a baba. It's a mere seer buddy. This is Buddy. I think I've shown Polly on here. Here's something. <laughs> okay, go down. Oh, careful. I think I've shown Polly on here a couple of times. Um, unfortunately, in November of last year. Polly passed away. Um, she was my little Pomeranian, Bichon. Uh, I loved her so much. Like, it was very, very, very hard for me. Um, and a couple of months later, my dad surprised my mom with her uh, dream puppy, which is ironic because he's definitely my dad's dog. Um, it's a boy this time, so it's we have three boy dogs now. And he's a teacup Yorkshire Terrier, apparently. I don't know if I fully believe that. I think he's just a regular Yorkie and we got lied to, but I digress. He's a little bit smaller than the regular Yorkie. He was teeny tiny. I mean, literally teeny tiny when we got it. It was creepy. Um, oh, I love him, though. He's too cute. Um, let's see. Where was I at? I'm literally blanking. I got um, Disney photo shoot pictures done. So um, here's some of those. Look at me already. This was before I found out my role. That's why I'm so happy. I'm just kidding. Um, I am really like I. I've got. I've got a good roommate set up. Like I've got like a plan. Like I know what I want to do while I'm down there. Like like I have like a week that my family's gonna come down to like come for Christmas to like celebrate with the Christmas stuff and all that. I bought a ticket to. Um, Mickey's not so scary Halloween party for this the, my traditions week so the week that you have nothing so basically you get to Disney your week of move-in so I'm moving in on August 14th and that week until Friday or Saturday you have completely free um, your traditions either will normally fall on Friday or on Saturday um, I've heard Saturday mostly I don't know I've seen it both so I'm just kind of assuming it can be either but either way that Tuesday, the day after I move in, is very cheap for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party because it's still August. It's the cheapest it's going to get. And if you know anything, you don't get to go into the parks until you get your blue ID and you get your, like, you get your approvals and everything. So you can't start going to the parks until after traditions and all these things. So that first week you might have free and you might think, oh, I want to go to the parks. But you can't unless you pay for it. Like, you have to pay for a full ticket to go into the park, which is expensive. But... The Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween are only $109 before tax uh, for August dates. So me and my roommate and then a bunch of other people who are also arriving the same date as me are going to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party together. And boy, are we excited. <laughs> it's going to be fun. Uh, it's going to be like the only time we get to go into the parks. Otherwise, we're going to go to Cast Connections, which is like the store that's only for cast members. Uh, maybe even the outlet mall that's near there and the, the, the warehouse, the cast Disney cast member or the Disney warehouse, which has all of the like really discounted stuff. Um, Disney Springs resort hopping. Like I've got a lot of plans for my first week there. So you better get excited because I'm going to be hopefully vlogging it if I remember correctly, but we'll see. Um, 
so yeah this isn't what I wanted this video to be like I wanted it to be happy and I wanted it to be you know me very very excited and uh, not so worried about the future or worried about what it's gonna be like and or unex the, the unexpected I guess but I get, expect the unexpected because it happens and it's normal and you're not the only one like if you're disappointed with your role you're not the only one and I don't know every person I've seen like and I've watched just when they get their role like they are excited about it or it was one of their top picks or whatever even if it's not a role I would prefer they seem to be excited about it and I'm like so either you're lying like you're blatantly lying in front of people or you're really do like that role which is good for you and I'm very glad or happy for you but it happens a lot and I've seen it like many many times the closer we get to arrival dates like people will start saying like I'm very disappointed like I don't know what to do I don't know how to react blah 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 with roles and such um like I see people getting the roles I want and I'm jealous. I mean, it's just natural. Um, especially now that I know that I'm not getting that role. Like it was, je I was jealous before I even knew that I didn't get the role and I'm like even more jealous, but it'll definitely help me leave. I'm pretty sure because I was worried because I thought I would really want to stay. Like I really want to extend. Um, but I can't like I have, I have stuff lined up for me when I get home after I move out, which I actually move out on my birthday, which is fun and not fun at the same time. Uh, on my 22nd birthday next year. Uh, February 22nd is my move out date. Um, and I'm, I, I'm sad. Like, I definitely know I'll probably want to stay, but it'll help me the fact that I might not love my role so much to kind of get myself back home and out of the Disney bubble. But, um, yeah. I, again, looking on the positive side, look at the pros and the cons and try not to, try to figure out ways to offset the cons with the other pros and other things to be looking forward to. I'm sure I missed some stuff about about it because I've, I've been thinking about the positives all day and really they're all great because, I mean, food's right there. Like, I get to, I get to eat from my favorite restaurant. I know I like the food there, so, like, that's good. Um, the costumes look comfortable, air conditioning. Um, you, I don't know. The, I love the aesthetic of the building. It's Star Wars. I love Star Wars. Like, Backlot Express is still technically Star Wars. It's not, like, in the Star Wars land, but it's it's Star Wars where into the fact that it was the old Star Wars restaurant before Star Wars land existed, or, or uh, Galaxy's Edge, I should say. So it's right next to Star Tours. It's still got a lot of the um, Disney-themed stuff. So I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to try the food there and, like, explore... And, um, all that different shenanigans. So I think I'm going to like it. I'm hoping that my leaders, you know, are good and that I get to do a couple of the other things I want to do while I'm there. I have grandparents that live like an hour away, which is going to be nice. I get to see them. So the, overall, my program is going to be really fun. Um, and I know that the majority, for me, the majority of my program, I hope to spend doing the fun things outside of my job. Like I don't, I don't plan on like picking up shifts. A lot of people I see go down there, pick up, like, every shift they can get, and I am privileged in the sense that I know I have a job when I come home, and I'm privileged in the sense that I have family who would be there for me if I didn't, um, and that I'm not paying, like, any other expenses while I'm down there. Like, I don't have rent up here or, like, car payment or anything, so I'm definitely privileged in that sense because I paid off my car I also worked for it though like I've already like I basically worked to get to the point where I'm not gonna have to worry if that makes sense so it's not like I'm you know getting fed anything here it's just I worked ahead of time and did this after graduation so I didn't have those payments being taken out every month but $16 an hour is nothing to sneeze at like it's a decent amount for a like technical minimum wage job that they used to pay like 10 so it's pretty good I'm, I'm actually very excited that they're um that they gave us that raise and that there are new and fun things happening. They just announced a bunch of stuff for 2024. So if you haven't seen that, like it's, they're taking away the reservation system and they're adding dining plans back. Unfortunately, I'll only be there for like a month when it gets implemented, but Hey, well, the more the merrier, I'll, I'll at least get it for a couple of months. It's also the hundredth anniversary this year. Like it's going to be so fun. Like I'm so excited, but I guess I'm just not the person who I'd go down there and I'd work 60 hours a week. I'm not doing school. I'm not 
I'm not picking up anything other than if I need to pick up or trade off to make that week where I want to go in that cruise work. Like, I'd be willing to work 60 hours the week before and the week after if it meant that I could go on a Disney cruise. Like, I mean, come on now. But, um, I dig this. Uh, where was I going with? Literally, ADHD brain is so bad right now. Where was I going with this? Oh, but, like, people all the time are like, you know... I have no time to do anything, I have no time to go to the parks, like, this and that, and I'm like, well, okay, they normally don't schedule you over, like, other than Christmas week, or, like, Halloween, or Thanksgiving, they normally don't schedule you, schedule you on the average more than 40 hours a week, which is a full-time job, but it's doable, like, you can still do stuff, and they're like, oh, well, I picked up, like, you know, overtime, and I'm doing this and extra, and, like, some people work, like, up to 60 hours a week, and I'm like, why? Like, I would not work that much while I'm in Disney, like, when the whole point of why I'm there is I want to do the, the, the actual parks and the, you know, Disney Springs and use the discounts and, uh, explore the dining and explore all these, like, the different secrets. Like, I want to do all of that stuff. Why would I spend more of my time, my time while I'm only there for six months working? Yeah, I mean, I thought about trying to, like, email and maybe trying to get my role changed, and I thought about all these other things, but at the end of the day, I don't think they'd be able to do anything anyway. And if I, try, if I you know, tried to get it changed, it could get changed to something worse, because there's definitely worse, at least in my standards, of what I would like. Because if I got put in attractions, I would flip. Like, I love that people love attractions that is not me like i want nothing to get me away from the rides like don't put me on them at least working them that would be the most hectic thing ever like and not even like doable like i've seen like cps when i was there last time were like doing the like little mermaid ride or, like the conveyor belt rides where they'd like stand on the conveyors like and they said that they would have like twenty thousand steps in like freaking less than in two hours i'm like or not, was it less than two hours? Something like that. I don't know. Ridiculous. I'm like, get me out. Like, no, 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 no. Um, I probably, <laughs> like, termed. I don't know. I literally can't imagine. So, I definitely don't want to get a worse role than what I have. Again, this is all perspective. This is all opinion-based. It's all based on what you like. But, it's definitely midline. I think I'm, like, I'm not, I'm not very disappointed, but I'm not very excited either. It's just kind of like, oh. And that's okay. I think that's okay for now. Um, I'm going to go make sure I didn't forget anything. I'm going to look at my note. Because, like, yes, I have a note. I'm ADHD. And I have a thousand notes for everything. Yeah, I think I'm going to change my profile picture on YouTube uh, to finally do a Disney picture that I finally got taken. Um, it's been a while. But this is going to kind of become a Disney College Program channel for a while. Obviously, the last couple of videos have been on it already. And from here on out... I have my study abroads to look forward to, but I'm not going to vlog on those. Like, those are school almost. Like, I'm doing these classes and stuff, so I have that up next. And then I have the Disney College program. I'm probably going to make a video between now and my move-in video because I'm going to make a video of, like, some of the process that I go through with dorms and getting a, you know, my parking permit and, uh, you know, moving and pack list and all this stuff. Just kind of like a, a heads up and like a, hey, what's up? Like catching up type of video. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you again, hopefully fairly soon. If you have any questions for me or you uh, want me to answer anything, put them in the comments and I will read them in the next video because I, or just probably comment to you and respond and then address them in the next video. Um, Cause yeah, I'm a Disney college program member of fall of 2023. So I'm very excited. But I'm also very stressed, so it's normal to be both of those things at the same time. Thank you very much, and goodbye! Hi, y'all. I'm back. You thought I was done. You still get me. You still get me talking. Um, I'm gonna try and cut this short, but we all know how that goes. Uh, so, let's just start out. It is today, the 12th of July. I was gonna wait till later to introduce you, but if you wanna be introduced, oh, no, okay. Okay. So I talked very briefly about him in the video. This is Buddy. This is my Yorkshire Terrier. He's definitely not a teacup Yorkie. Ow! Stop biting my finger. So this is him. He loves me.
weirdly. But he's also kind of a psycho. Anyway, that's Buddy. Uh, he's the new member of our family. And I wanted to come in and kind of, from July 12th's point of view, today is July 12th, 2023, I'm been, it's been a while, I've been able to kind of fester the role a little bit. I'm actually a lot more excited than I was at first. I'm definitely not, like, thrilled. It's not, again, my favorite. It's not, you know, my preference. But I've kind of decided to make most the most of it. I There's AC. I There's a lot of great leaders I've heard. I've heard that, the like, you cannot work any earlier than 11 a.m. because that's when they open. Well, 10 a.m. if you open. So that gets confusing. But they open at 11 a.m. They close by 8 p.m. So, like, that's chill. Um... Yeah, everything is just kind of fitting into place, and um, they've kind of revealed that they're going to make it a lot easier to request off and to give give away shifts and um, trade off shifts with other people, so that might help for when I have a lot of my family is going to like take time to come down and see me while I'm down there, which I'm so excited about, like, the fact that people want to come down to see me and visit me, like, bro, like, that's crazy, like, what? But they're all going to come down and visit. So I'm excited that I might have a little bit more of an opportunity to fit that around my work schedule. Um, and uh, QSR, it's very, it's a lot easier than a lot of other roles to do so because you don't need to be specially trained most of the time in anything. Like QSRs can take up any shifts and QSRs can like trade and there's a lot of Disney College program workers, there's a lot of full-timers, there's a lot of people in, especially in Backlot Express, which is where I'll be working. So all good news. All good news. I'm kind of excited. Um, yeah, so I just kind of wanted to come in and address that and say it will get better. Even if you don't like your role at first, even if you stress out and you cry and you panic like I did, it will get better. You will adjust. I also wanted to kind of just update on everything else. I know that this video has been a long time coming. Um, I've had my role for a while, but August 14th, which is my arrival date, they don't get their roles until Friday or Monday of next week. So I definitely am grateful that I had my role ahead of time. So that was kind of the one big benefit of doing an accommodation is you get your role. I technically got it in March, but I didn't get to look at it or see it until May because their whole system needs a little bit of work, but overall, like, it's, it's decent for what it is, I guess. Better than what I was expecting in some ways, worse in others. It's kind of confusing in that, in that way a bit. Um, so that is nice that I don't have to worry, like, everyone is freaking out about their roles and I don't have to do that because I'm like, oh, I've got my role, so it's fine. So that's kind of nice to be able to just chill. There's no guarantee yet on housing. Um, we ha you don't get your lease until about two weeks before you move in, which kind of sounds, like, really fast, and it is. Like, you don't kind of get any idea of where you're moving in. Um, it's very scary. So it's like, uh, okay, what the heck? Like, this is, oh, it's happening so fast. Um, so, like... I'm about a month, um, like, from move-in. I think I've got, like, three days before it'll be exactly a month. Um, kind of scary. Like, I'll be in Florida in 30 days, like, or 33 days. That's crazy. Like, you're, you're joking. Um, I've adjusted my YouTube channel to fit the theme. Like, I'm doing that before I leave because I was like, there ain't no way I'm gonna have the time to do that when I get there. And I'm just like, guys, this is happening. Like, it's actually happening. Um... My roommate, I've mentioned, is an alumni, so there is this kind of cheat that we've kind of found. So far, it's not, like, set in stone, so don't get your heart set on it, but they went into their old leasing program, and they found, like, that they have been placed already with FCV, or Flamingo um, Crossing Village, um, in a room layout. Currently, me and my roommate both requested an accommodation for housing due to medical stuff to have a solo bedroom and a solo bathroom, but honestly, solo, solo bedroom is totally fine. Like whatever. And currently we on that leasing program are placed in a four by four, which means that we have our own bathroom and our own bedroom. I'm trying not to get my heart set on it just in case something happens. But honestly, if something happens, that's like the least thing I was worried about. Like I'm less worried about that than I was about the role. And then I was worried about like everything. I also can address parking. Uh, which I might address in the next video as well, because I'm thinking I'm going to do, like, a whole leasing video and how that works um, closer to the date. So there'll be one more video in between this one before my move-in vlog, because I think I'm also going to record that so that you guys can see the process of what moving in is like, what traditions is like, all that stuff. Um, 
Exciting? Crazy? Like, literally, that's within a month. My mind is blown. Uh, but I did get a parking decal. I've heard that in the past, that if you look it up online, parking decals can be very hard to get through FCV, like for the Flamingo Crossing Village, um, where you'll be living. That's not necessarily the case anymore. As long as you're on it and you go on that website right when it opens, which you should be if you're paying attention to your emails and your onboarding, uh, you're also, like, we have, like, a ton of group me chats and everything that no one's gonna let you forget that it's due. Don't worry. Like, everyone's there for each other. We're all very nice, and it's so nice to kind of just talk to people and be like, we're on, we're in this together. Um, so I did get a parking pass, so I will be able to bring my car, which is really nice because that was a big worry because, uh, recently they opened a lot more parking. They recently opened a whole other half of Flamingo East, I believe, and, um, the parking also became available. So that access to parking has kind of made it easier, um, to get a pass because, um, the spots are more, there's more spots available, but also it costs $180, $180, $191 for the program fee, $181, or sorry, $180 for the parking pass. I, and broke, let's just say. So, like, keep in mind, you're gonna spend a decent chunk of change just to get there before you even start making money. Um, I was willing to pay it because I need my car, but if you don't want to pay it, keep that in mind. Uh, I think that was another reason that it was so easy to get a parking pass is because people might have been dissuaded from paying $180 for the pass, maybe. Like, that's another reason they could have raised it. They're also Disney and they want their money, so take everything with a grain of salt at the Disney World Corporation. That's all I'm saying. You are there to work for them. It's a pyramid scheme, as I've said before. You're willingly entering. Like, I'm willingly, willingly entering this idea and this thing going on. I know what's going on. I'm keeping my mind open. I'm not letting myself kind of fall the victim to this, oh, I'm being mistreated because it's like, you knew this when you were going in. Like, they're not going to be personalized to each person. You kind of got to make your own way and contact your own people and make your own friends just breathe, it'll all be okay, and sometimes it's not as magical as it may seem, but I promise it'll be worth it. So far, it's worth it, and I'm not even there, so I don't know. Just look at all the other videos, and hopefully, maybe even if I'm done with the DZP when you're watching this video, you can go click my future videos and be like, oh my gosh, it was so worth it for her, or I could self-term. Who knows? We really don't know. Like, it's just so scary. I don't plan to self-term. Like, there's really nothing that could get me to self-term. Because I have nothing to do between now and when I'm leaving, which is February 22nd, my 22nd birthday. What? My golden birthday is when I move out. So, wild. But, um, yeah. I think that's all for right now. I'm going to come back with another video about move-in and leasing once that gets released, hopefully, this Friday. Fingers crossed. So, I will see you guys in the next video. And thank you so much for staying along for the journey. Bye!